All right, guys, I do have an editorial for this morning with a few stories. I'm going to focus on one, but I'm going to give you an update on a couple others. I'm going to put three links in the description box below to all three stories. You can go read the whole entire stories. Uh, pick which one you want, or you can read all of them. First one is the California Rancho Cordova story. Uh, the boy, the teenage 14-year-old boy who was punched by the police officer has spoken out. Stop, bro. What's your password? What's your... Stop, Josh, stop. Stop, bro. Stop, Josh, stop. Stop hitting them, bro. And he did say that he felt uh, he made some mistakes. He said, I did lie to the officer. I, you know, I probably could have did better. But he says what happened. And this is a statement from the boy. The police are really making no real definitive statements about what happened. But the boy said that he was getting tobacco from an adult that he got a cigar from him there was hand to hand he said when the police officer came up he did lie and say he was 18 but he said he gave the cigar over to the police officer right away he said the police officer got a little agitated and then tried to handcuff him without telling him why the teen said when he pulled his hand back like whoa what's up he got taken down and you saw what happened in the little video clip um, the teenager said that he would like to meet with the officer. He's, you know, very truly sorry for him. He said he was probably just doing his job. I don't, I think the officer did go overboard. But the teenager said, you know, he would like to meet with him. There is, in the story link I put below in the description box, there is a video message from the police chief who says that she hopes both sides will agree to meet. Now, the boys already said, I would like to meet with the officer, you know, so it doesn't sound like the officer right now may be willing to meet with the boy. He's probably pissed off. He's been reassigned pending an investigation into the matter's use of force. So there you go. How do I stand? I think the officer went overboard over a little cigar. He could have just took it from him and said, OK, juveniles can't have cigars. Go home. That's all he had to do. That was it. But he wanted to conduct this huge investigation. I think he was pissed off because the adult took off and he didn't know where he went. And he lost him. And he had been getting complaints of someone selling tobacco and alcohol to minors. So the cop was already pissed off. The guy left. Now he has this teenager. He could have just told him, go home. Go home. That whole incident could have been avoided. I want to know how you guys feel in the comment section below. Moving on to the next one really quick here. Art Acevedo. Uh, Acevedo of Houston Police Department has, is addressing the shooting of the man on his knees and he said correctly that we can't hear what the police officers are saying we can't really hear and barely see what the suspect is doing uh, he said the video looks very disturbing well it does you guys have seen it yeah look I don't know what it is that they're shooting him with huh? he's fucked up oh my god I think they're shush it, mom. Why are you standing there? I think so. They can get shot. No, they can't shoot me from my own. But apparently, if you read the story in the video link, or no, the story link is in the description box below on the update. The man didn't have a knife. He had a rebarb and he had stabbed himself with the rebarb. His family had said he had drug, mental health and emotional issues going on. Uh, so here you have this drug induced man with mental health issues who's suicidal uh, and he was shot on his knees. They said he was throwing stuff at the police. He picked up something to throw at the cops. And that's when he was shot. Basically, in my humble opinion, it means that his life wasn't worth negotiating. Here's a man on his knees. Okay, he threw something at you guys. This officer safety thing has been taken so far that it's like they want to be as safe as a baby in a bassinet. I mean, any little disturbance and they're going to shoot you because it's just become so easy now for cops just to shoot somebody. Well, officer safety. Well, shit, man. What happened to negotiating life? What happened to assessing a situation? What happened to, to what they call sit rep situation reports assessments? No, we just shoot the motherfucker and go on our way.
<clears throat> go have lunch. You know, uh, he just wasn't shooting some guy who was a you know hardened criminal. You were shooting a drug induced man with mental health issues who was suicidal. But his life didn't matter, right? Well, you gave him what he wanted. You killed him. But Art Acevedo has said that they are reviewing 70 body cameras from all of the cops. There were 70 cops out there, I guess. 70 body cameras is what he said. And he said in weeks, not days, but in weeks, we will know if they're going to take action against the sergeant and the police officers who were involved. They're not going to. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. So there's a little update for you there. Finally going to Chicago. I'm going to wrap this up. <clears throat> Coming to us from WGN-TV, Chicago police officials say they will issue a citation in connection with a wedding party at a Northside residence last week that spilled onto the street in violation of efforts to fight the spread of the coronavirus, Chicago police said Wednesday. A video of the April 23rd party shows several dozen revelers, all white, with some wearing masks, dancing to loud music before officers enforcing Illinois stay-at-home orders broke up the crowd with no citation issued. The announcement that a citation would be issued comes two days after police ticketed the owner of the Northwest Side home where they broke up a large gathering of young blacks over the weekend. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot said Wednesday, both incidents should be treated exactly the same. I'm going to get back to that. Lightfoot said, we can't tolerate it anywhere. It's not just the black millennials. It's a problem wherever it rears its head. She's talking about whites too. Police didn't explain why it was taking longer to issue a citation for the Northside party than for the weekend event. That's because they were white. I'm going to jump down here a little bit. Uh, oh, so Janiel Wright, 26, who threw the weekend party captured on Facebook live and prompting the ire of politicians and others, issued an apology Wednesday. He said the party was thrown to honor two friends killed in gun violence in 2018. So to sum this up, I will put a link to this story also in the description box below. Uh, but I believe there's more that you can read on it. Oh, no, that was it. I gave you all of it. But you can go read it for yourself and see if you see anything. Uh, worth discussing but here you had a weekend party honoring two friends killed in gun violence and it was uh, you know blacks in the street and they went and they issued them a citation for violating the stay-at-home order then you have a wedding party of all or mostly whites and they're broke up and told get out of here there's a stay home order go home they don't issue a citation until the mayor mentions it and then Guess what they do? Now they're going to issue a citation to the wedding party to make it equal. They're not going to drop the charges on the weekend party and say, you know what? We'll just drop the charges on the weekend party, the blacks. We'll drop the charges. Hey, guys, we're going to make it even. Neither one of you get citations. Just stay home, guys. This, there's a pandemic. They don't do that. No, they issue a citation to the whites. You know why? To let the courts decide who gets charged with what so now both of them still have to answer charges on a citation that was issued so basically they're saying look we're not going to drop the charges on the black party we're simply going to just go ahead and charge the white party and make both of them go to court instead of just dropping the charges on everybody and going you know we'll make it even ali ali oxen free this one's back to nil all right there you go we're at ground zero let's start again and educate them on stay home and pandemic and coronavirus and all that. They don't do that. They issue a citation to the other ones so that the weekend party keeps their citation. That's my opinion. That's how I see it. I want to know if any of you see it that way. Let me know in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast and everywhere in between. Thank you on this throwback Thursday. I'll try to find a throwback for you and throw it back. Thanks, guys, for watching. Happy, uh, happy week, I guess.